So, today I am going to be doing a killer clown look. Now, this was inspired by a few different posts. I can put them over here. This look is super simple and it didn't turn out as good as I hoped it would, but nonetheless, it still turned out pretty good. Um, if you wanna know how to do this look, just keep watching. So basically, I'm just gonna be priming my face first. Of course, our first step is to just get your hair out of the way. Then I'm going to be using this e.l.f. primer and just priming my face. Next, I am going in with my Tarte 4-in-1 setting spray and just spraying that all over. Okay, the next step is to just do your eyebrows. Just kind of do them how you usually do. Oh my god, I need to do my eyebrows. So now that your eyebrows are done, the next step is to go in with concealer. I'm not going to be using foundation for this look because I personally find it too heavy, so I'm just going to use a lot of concealer to just cover up any dark circles or spots I might have. I do blend it out with a beauty blender and I find my finger actually works better. And yes, I did use three concealers on my under eye bags. They are that bad. Um, next, I'm going in with just some translucent powder and just bake in my face. Next step is pretty self-explanatory, but just wipe off your bake. Alright, so I just grabbed a whole bunch of palettes, and um, for this look, I think I'm gonna do like a red, like dark clown look, and I guess we'll see how this goes. <laughs> now taking a warm toned palette, that could be really any palette, I'm going to be taking two of the lighter brown shades and just putting this into my crease as a transition color. Now going in with a darker orangey red, I'm gonna put that just in the crease. But right now I'm just kind of trying to make the crease dark because we're going to be making the whole eye look dark. This will be the background for the black, which is going to go on later. Now taking an auburn red, we're going to go and just darken up the crease even more. Now take a big fluffy brush and just hella blend. Now going in with one of those lighter shades we used earlier, just go underneath your eye. Get right in there. You're gonna look sickly. That's okay, that's the look. <laughs> now I'm going in with that darker color again, just to darken up the under eye and the crease a little bit more. I'm kinda trying to make like a V just coming out here. And now we have to blend. Okay. So now we look god-awful. I'm just going to be taking a white shade on my fluffy brush to just help it blend out a little bit more. Now taking that darker auburn shade again, we're going to be creating narrow Vs going down your face. Just starting from the middle of your eye down to about the end of your nose. We are going to repeat this process on the top as well, just ending it slightly above the eyebrow. Now we're looking very, very crazy. Taking a small flat brush, I'm going to be dipping that into a body paint and creating lines going down where we created the outline for the shadow. I don't know if my explanation made sense, but you can just see what I'm doing on the video. Now for this, you could also do this with eyeliner too. That works as well, but... Now we're going to make it look like this clown is going through an emo phase and doing some dark liner right underneath the lower lash line. Now you're just going to kind of connect it upwards in a triangle. Next we are going to be filling in the entire upper portion of our lid with black paint and we're going to wing that out and connect it with the lower lash line. Well, you're just going to take a matte black shade and put that over top of all this to kind of set it. And now we look like all the emo kids in 2009. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and smoke it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat the 
same process on the other eye and I'll be back. With the other eye completed, I'm going to be going in with this shimmery hot pink shade and going over where we went in with the red. I'm just gonna like lighten it up a little bit with the pink. Now comes the fun part. We're going to be dipping that same flat brush into the black and creating our mouth. The mouth honestly doesn't have to be symmetrical and it doesn't even have to be that neat because we're going to be cleaning it up later. Okay, so now I have the mouth drawn on. I'm just going to go over these and clean them up. I'm really going to use the Maybelline Master Precise. I just, um, I personally find it easier when it's like a pen tip. I just find it easier to apply. Alright, so I just cleaned up the lines. As you can see, there's still the, um, red around there. Just gonna take a more kind of flattish brush and blend the pink up there. Now I'm going to be adding a little wing, I guess, just for fun because you can't really see it, but I don't know, I just felt like doing that. I'll clean up everything later, but now we're gonna work on the mouth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start drawing some lines down. Now the beauty of this look is that these lines can be as messy as you want, they can be thick, they can be thin, just try to make them all pointed at the end. Now we're going to go back in with the pink and just blend around there. So after we went in with the pink, we're just going to go in with one of the same shades we used earlier. And yeah, you guessed it, this part is super messy as well. Okay. So now that we have that all in, now we're going to go in with, um, I'm using a lip liner, but you could use, you could just use like red paint and a brush, but we're just going to do the same thing and draw in the lines as well. Now I'm going to be lining my lips with that same red lip liner and applying a lipstick over top. The shade and color of the lipstick doesn't really matter too much because we're just using it as a base so that the black eyeshadow will stick to our lips better. And now we're done with the mouth. Now we're going to be going in with that same lipstick we used earlier and putting it on our under eye just to make it a little bit darker. And of course we gotta blend that out with a brush. Now I'm going to be going in with a light concealer and just putting that around all the black we did just to clean up all the edges. Alright, so I just concealed around my eyebrow and the top lip, as well as at the points, and now I'm just going to like blend that out. Alright, so I cleaned up the edges a little bit, and now I'm just going to bronze up my face with Hola by Benefit. So now I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks and then blend that out. So after a quick comb of the brows, we're just going to be setting our face with that same setting spray we used earlier. Alright, now the final step is the nose. Which isn't really, like, it's kind of self-explanatory. Basically, you're just going to be creating a heart shape on your nose with the same lipstick we used earlier and then adding the black shadow over top, the same way we did with our lips. Now, I'm gonna just line my waterline with some black. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be taking this blush highlight because, come on, every look needs a highlight. And putting that just in the highlight spots. Now I'm going to be taking a black shimmery shade and just putting that on the center of the lid as well as underneath my lower lash line. Okay, I think that's pretty much the final look. Oh, actually, you know, if you want, you can put on lashes. Um, I'm not sure if I will. I'm not sure what I'm feeling yet, but I'll be back. This is the completed look. Basically, I just took some fake blood that I had and I kind of just dabbed it on my, um, just dabbed it on my face underneath. I didn't do anything on top here and I just added a little drip of blood going down as well as some going from, oh, and I did some hand marks and yeah, then I just put my hair in some little pigtails and out of the scarf and that's basically the completed look if you liked what I did you can go ahead and subscribe I'd really appreciate that and then you'll be notified when I post um, leave a like leave some comments tell me if there's something you would do different if you like it or if you hate it honestly like go ahead just tell me I don't care I don't get offended too easily I kind of do I'm like kind of I get offended kind of easily so like be kind of nice, you know. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next video. That was so freaking awkward. Oh my god. Okay, bye. <laughs>